Hello there everyone and welcome back to Astray, and I've just realised something about this character. He's consistently drunk, I'm not touching anything right now and he's just, whoa, he's so out of his mind. Which might explain why he fell down the cliff earlier, he wasn't getting chased from anything, he was just blind drunk. Anyway, we're going to Egypt. Now I'm hoping Egypt's a little bit better than demonology because I was a little bit disappointed in that to be honest. Okay. Alright, I got high hopes just from this, this looks pretty cool. Okay, is that a scarab? Pretty nice. Is this a button, maybe? So I'm just sticking out the wall? Okay, it's not a button. Alright. Uh, oh, the scarabs are lights, I see, and all the hieroglyphs here. That's kind of cool. Attention to detail, pretty good, pretty damn good, i got to say. But, yeah, demonology, despite that, felt very empty. Even with the monster lurking in a maze. Anyway. Oh, look at that sphinx! It's so cute. I want one. Okay, that's a pretty big scarab. Uh, can we enter the pyramid at all? Can we get rid of this box? We can't pull it. Can we push it? I'm just sort of leaning into it right now. It doesn't seem to be working. Uh, right, okay. Um, an empty case. Fine, fine. Well, this seems to be a relatively pointless room. Let's keep going, I guess, and, and see what awaits on the other side. Hold left shift to sprint. Well, oh, well, yeah, I kind of knew that. I guess this is the place you're meant to go before you go to Atlantis or, uh, or Demonology. It's the first door you see, I suppose, but, yeah. Oh, hang on, hang on, there is something to read here, hello. Okay, Professor Walker's diary again. Um, it looks like it's before what we've previously read as well, so, yeah, okay. 20th of November, 1908. It's finally in my hands. Bella wrote last week to inform me that she had acquired the crystal fragment I was after. Of course, knowing how much I wanted it, she saw fit to double her fee, certain that I'd pay any amount to get my hands on the artifact. This shard is unlike anything I have ever seen. It looks to have been cleanly cut from a much larger structure, but the material looks much too hard. Surely such a precise incision would be impossible. It's beautiful, truly magnificent. Its dull glow is soothing, hypnotic even. Now I can proudly put it on display in time for my pre-opening party next week, which I assume was attended by Baron Montague, who we read about last time. Okay, okay, I'm connecting the dots, it's all coming together. So a crystal, okay, fine, different. I right, got a bigger version of the Sphinx up there and much bigger versions of the Scarabs as well. All right. Do I have to go up to the Sphinx maybe? It kind of looks like I... Ah, 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 hang on a moment. Hold on. Hold the phone. What is this? Another secret entrance. Okay. Is that a lever? Kind of looks like it. Okay. Just this lever. Okay, let's, uh, let's use it. Okay. Oh, that sounds like a countdown to me. What's, what's happening? What's that? What is that? Why is only one of the lights on? Okay. A, B, C. Oh, okay. Is that like hieroglyphic alphabet or something? I don't even know. Uh, there is a big ass box there. You know what? Um, tell you what. I'll go up here and have a look at the Sphinx first. Then maybe I'll go and take a closer look at those hieroglyphs. Okay, so we're going up here. Okay. I didn't notice anything changed while that happened, but fine. Alright, I'm just gonna sort of stand on your paw now, if that's okay with you. No, it's not okay. Oh, oh, it is. Okay, fine, fine. Anything wrong with your right eye by any chance? No buttons on it? No? Okay. Always worth a look. I feel like a doctor now. Or a vet, even. <laughs> Putting a torch in a, an animal's eye. Um, I'm not seeing anything. I'm actually kind of running low on battery. Although, as I said, that actually went up a charge. Nothing on this side. No, why would you want me to climb up here? Hmm. Well, I mean, we've got the boxes here. Let's let's move the boxes over to the other side of the room. Let's put this one up there. There we go. And this one there. That should be just lovely. Nice physics-based puzzles, but I've played Half-Life 2, so no worries, basically. Okay. So we have hieroglyphics here. These aren't buttons or anything. This one's not a button. Maybe the, I just maybe thought one of the lights was a button. I don't know why. Okay. Well, that's kind of neat. Um... F looks like a Loch Ness monster. Or that, uh, that weird fucking Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, um, right. Let's let's think about this. Nothing down there at all. No, just lots of hieroglyphs. 
etched onto the walls, it seems. Alright, well, something obviously happens when I pull this lever down. So I'm just going to have a little run around, see what happens, see if there's see if there's anything different at all. There's no secret entrances appearing. Okay, maybe in the other room? The other room didn't seem to have a point. So it's probably something in there, actually, now I think about it. Oh, it is, it is. It's the entrance to the pyramid. Fine, 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 fine. There we go. There we... Ah. Oh. Oh, bugger. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm kind of trapped inside a, a little mini pyramid, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm sure there's another way out. There were only the other two. There were shortcuts back. No worries. No worries. All right. Wow. This is kind of cool. But again, it's, you know, it's part of the exhibit that nobody's going to see unless you complete all the puzzles. It's crazy. It's like the museum was made for me and me alone. Is that Anubis again? Does like Anubis. Uh, right. Is that a button? Oh, blimey. Okay. Fine. That looks kind of cool. Okay, let's go say hi to Anubis, shall we? The chuckle headed god. Haven't seen any other the other gods quite yet. Oh, skull. Oh, it's actually a book I can read. Let's have a look. The tombs of many pharaohs were protected against grave robbers. The resting place of King Teos was hidden behind a secret door in this tomb which is said to have been guarded by curses and other supernatural forces. The name of the pharaoh himself was used to seal the tomb. Okay. Okay, King Teos sealed the tomb with his own name. Thank you, Anubis. Uh, I don't think I can use anything else. There's nothing over here or anything. No, okay. It's kind of got the same problem as uh, demonology had, in my opinion. It, it just feels empty. It's weird. I know it's, it's like an abandoned museum and everything. I guess that's kind of the vibe they're going for, but... I don't know. Anyway, we've got an obelisk, it looks like. What's going on here? And ah, I saw these. I saw these in the maze. Different colour and all, but... Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, hieroglyphs. Oh, sealed with King Teos's name. Oh, I need to have a look at the hieroglyphs again, don't I? It'll be T-E-O and S. I don't know which is which, though. Is that his tomb right there? Wait, does that mean this is the secret door? That wasn't a secret door, there was a button right next to it, fuck's sake. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at the hieroglyphs. I need a T, an E, an O, and an S. Okay, I mean, there's there's got to be a point to them, right? That's what I thought, and evidently there was. And how come this is open? Why block me in if you're just going to let me straight out? Weird, but okay. Hey, it's a museum. It's probably just a bit of fun for the guests, right? That's what I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. I'm coming to the game's defense on this one, I think. Anyway, up we go. Okay, if we're looking for a T, then a T. It's oh, okay. A T is a semicircle. I'm just gonna write this down because my memory has been known to be pretty poor in the past. Okay, so T is a semicircle. An E. It's like two wings or two combs. All right. Oh, they look like tongs to me. <laughs> tongs. Okay, what is what is S then? Uh, S looks like half a paperclip. Okay, I don't remember seeing any of those symbols. Maybe the semicircle actually, but I'm hoping it, I'm hoping it's that. Okay, right. Okay, well I've got those. So you know, if the legend is true, if the book is right, I should be able to uh, turn the obelisk and open the tomb. Again, probably just a bit of fun for the tourists, because I imagine if, you know, it was actually situated in Egypt and you really didn't want anyone to find your tomb and open it, you wouldn't, you know, have the, essentially, passcode be your own name. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Right. Okay, so that's that's a T right there, but I'm assuming it's T-E-O-S. So, is there a semicircle at the top somewhere? Oh, there is. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so T, uh, E, I think that's E, actually, isn't it? It's the wings. Yeah. Okay, so we are looking for this one right here. Okay, so we got T.O. There's Teos. Oh. Oh, there we go. What's in the tomb? What's in it? What's in it? A key. Another key. Oh my god, that's really short as well. I thought demonology was going to be an exception. Atlantis lasted for about, what, 15 minutes or so? I've done that in like 10 minutes. 
Bloody hell! Alright, well there we go. There's, there's Egypt for you, I guess. Where's my mandatory shortcut? <laughs> I want to crawl through some vents. Ah, oh, never mind. Um, okay, yeah. Right, well I guess I should go and add this key to the keyhole and get that door unlocked. But here's what I'm fearing, really. I'm fearing that this is the entire game, and as soon as I open the door, my uncle's just going to be on the other side saying, Haha, joke's on you, or something like that, and that's going to be it. Credits. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping there's more to that. I thought the playthrough was going to be a little bit longer than that, let's be honest. Okay, so here we go. Right, this better be good. This better be good. So, it's probably something in there, actually, now I think about it. Oh, it is, it is, it's the entrance to the pyramid. Fine, 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 there we go. There we... Ah, oh, 